I love my wife. I'll do just about anything for her. But she wanted to go this Saturday, May 17th, to a party for her friends out of town. Couldn't do it for Erica. Because this Saturday is Spring Fest. My good friend Austin Landers and Keller have set up a unbelievable, unbelievable day. Starts at 2 o'clock and it's going to have bands on two different stages on Oregon Avenue. I'm getting excited. I'm starting to spaz out. <laughs> Tell you why I'm so excited. Music is deep, deep in my blood. I got it from my dad. My dad, if you don't know him, he's, he's a laid back guy. Very mellow man. He, he doesn't seem like a rock and roll kind of guy. But if I got in his truck right now, ZZ Top would be blaring on the radio. He's 77 years old. Let me tell you what my dad did in the early 80s. He's, like I said, he's a mild kind of guy. So they put him on this Arts Commission, the Lander Arts Commission. And my dad looked at it, and they were supposed to bring art to Greenwood. And he's looking at it, and they got a pretty hefty endowment. And he's thinking, what could we bring? He didn't want to bring ballerina and opera. Nah, my dad brought Jimmy Buffett to the Civic Center. That's my first concert, seeing Jimmy Buffett. It was unbelievable, great night. Uh, he blew the budget. They, they never asked him to be on any arts commission again. That's where I get it from. I get it from my dad. And I can't wait to see these bands. We're going to have two stages going on all day. You know what I'm doing? I'm bringing my kids. Because I'm going to raise them up right. Appreciate music. And it's going to be great music. You know I'm a Brown Sugar Substitute fan. They're coming on stage, I think, around 7, maybe 6. Not sure. Check the, check the Greenwood Counter website. Because you know what Greenwood does? We appreciate music. You know who doesn't appreciate music? In my opinion, Greenville. Knox White came here. Somebody brought him here to speak about four or five years ago. And Knox White, they invited me to sit there. So I had to listen to the mayor of Greenville talk about all these statues he's put out in Greenville. You know who doesn't have a statue in Greenville? Leonard Skinner. That's right, the most important southern rock band who died on a plane leaving from Greenville. Doesn't have a monument, they don't have any tribute. If you walk around Greenville, uptown, there's nothing. You'd never know Skinner took off from Greenville after playing their last concert there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a symbol, I'm gonna put a statue up at uptown Greenwood, and it's gonna say, the greatest southern rock band ever died about 50 miles from here. How about that, Knox? <laughs> yeah. That's Greenville for you. They don't appreciate rock and roll, but your mayor, Greenwood, will be there Saturday rocking out. I'll see you there.